I've been flying with CC3D boards like this one for a, a long time. And uh, recently I've started getting more and more into beta flight because everybody seems to talk about how great it is. So in this video I'm going to show you how to put beta flight onto a CC3D like this one. This is a brand new CC3D and if I plug it in here it should go ahead and just light up and work. Hopefully it works. Let me get on the firmware tab so we can see. And yeah, we're in business. Okay, good. It says it's out of date, but that doesn't matter. I'm gonna go ahead and push OK to that, and then disconnect the board down the bottom right-hand corner. <clears throat> now, the, the first thing you wanna do is download the uh, CC3D firmware. And if you go to Google and you search for Boris um, Betaflight, you'll come up to a page like this. And this is on the GitHub website. I'll have a link to this. And you mostly just wanna download the latest one. At this time, it's beta, Betaflight 233. And if you're, like I said, if you're using the C3D, then one you want to come download is this one called, um, right here, CC3D Open Pilot Bootloader Bin, OPBL Bin. That's the one you want to download. So go ahead and click on it, and it should download in just a few seconds because it's real small. Back in beta flight, the next thing you want to do is open up, open this up before you connect your board, and click on Rescue. And I'll go ahead and click Rescue, and now it says it's giving me a little bit of time to connect my board. So I'll go ahead and connect the board, and it brings you up to this window. And what we want to do is we want to we want to take the Betaflight software we just downloaded and put it on here. So we click Open, and you want to go to wherever you saved it. Hopefully you can find it. In this case, I have a whole bunch of these downloaded because it keeps releasing new versions, and I keep downloading them. Here's the one that I just downloaded, and I'm going to go ahead and click Open, and now it has this big uh, red circle warning over here. It says, you know, this is not software I'm providing, but you go ahead and click the I know what I'm doing, and then you wanna click flash, and it should say erasing right there, and then there it goes loading the firmware. And the one thing you wanna make sure you do is wait till the, um, Wait till it says upload successful. There it is, upload successful. So at this point, we just go ahead and disconnect this. Now, one difference between a NAS32 and a CC3D is just like I did here, I plugged in the USB and the open pilot was able to read it and it didn't have any problems. Well, the same is not true for a CC3D on clean flight. So here's clean flight and if I go ahead, let me go ahead and turn off this open pilot, I just minimized it. Turn that off, okay, so now I got clean flight open and if I plug this in, you get the little beeps and stuff, but if I try to click the connect button, then it just says over here, failed to open serial port. Well, that's because the CC3D is different in clean flight and actually has to be powered on before you connect the USB. So here I'm just gonna go ahead and disconnect it. And here I have a battery. This is actually a four cell battery with a uh, voltage reducer in the middle here and a uh, servo lead on the end. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this and I'm going to plug it into my uh, board here. Now when you plug this in, make sure you plug it in right. The pins on the outermost edge are the ground and the ones on the innermost edge are the signal. So in this case, I'm going to plug it in just like this. And make sure you get the pins lined up straight. There. Now you can see the board is actually powered on. So now if I take the USB cable and I plug it in, then I get the little beeps because it recognized it and I should be able to click connect and waiting for data and there it is. And there it is. Now this board is actually running clean flight, or sorry, it's actually running beta flight in the clean flight GUI. This is where you do all the configuration. Once you're in here, you can go over to the configuration page. Everything is just like it is for a NAS32, except you're running beta flight on a CC3D. So if you already have this in your quadcopter, it's not too hard to power it up because you just plug it in, plug in your quadcopter and the lights should come on like normal. Then you connect the USB cable and you should be good to go. If you have any questions about flashing uh, beta flight onto a uh, CC3D, let me know in the comments and I'll try to help you out as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching.